2018 when she started having the same symptoms um we took her to the doctor and they said that it was a stomach virus and that it had to take its course but with this time this time around chloe fever didn't break so by the fifth day we took her to the er yeah we had taken her to that one week we had taken her to the um, doctors three different times um, and each time they said it's just a stomach virus. They tested her for the flu, it was negative. They tested her for strep, it was negative. Everything was negative, and they said it just has to take its course seven to ten days. And the fever that Chloe had, um, it wasn't breaking. But by the fifth day, her fever actually increased. And we, at that time, we said, no, something definitely isn't right. So instead of taking her to her pediatrician or to the, um, the local uh, patient first, we took her to the emergency room, the local emergency room, and upon examination, the emergency room doctor um, could feel something abnormal uh, based off of her expression. Yeah, we could her, see the concern. Yeah, her liver was enlarged, and um, after that examination, she ordered a sonogram, and when the sonogram results came back, um, she didn't give us a diagnosis. She just said that she sees a lot of, uh, I think she described it as pockets in her liver. And it was numerous pockets. And she didn't know what it was. So they rushed Chloe um, to the University of Maryland yeah, Children's we was, Hospital. We was transferred um, by ambulance from the local hospital downtown to University of Maryland uh, Medical Center. Um, where Chloe ended up being admitted and was eventually there for two weeks with a fever.